So let me explain to you why you can't lose when you take what I call a do or die commitment. Meaning you embark on a project and you stack the odds so that success is a must. I've done this many times in my life. One example was when I met my first mentor at age 20, my first money mentor. I paid him $4,000. I took a loan of $20,000 and moved to live in a hotel that cost me $800 a night uh, with the, the, the intention of, hey, I'm either gonna start making a lot of money or I'm gonna go broke because if I don't make enough money in these three weeks, I lose all the money. I'm in $20,000 debt and it will take me like two years to get it back at this rate. So this is one example. Another example is when I wanted to multiply my income again by five or 10 times. What I did was commit to doing a huge lecture because I was giving, I was doing lots of uh, speaking at the time. So I committed to doing a 500, an 800 people lecture and I paid $25,000 or about $20,000 uh, ahead of time uh, for an auditorium, one of the most luxurious, uh, biggest auditoriums in Israel, as a matter of fact, before even getting my first person. And mind you, <laughs> I set a, uh, a due date, I had a deadline of three weeks. So I had three weeks to get 500, 800 people um, into the auditorium and I was risking $20,000 to make it happen. and. I had no way of, I didn't, I didn't know how I'm going to do it. Um, I, nobody knew me besides a couple of fans. I actually made a video about this. I called it, it this actually went viral and I explained how I did it. But again, committed, do or die, made it happen. And the reason I constantly confuse 800 with 500 is because eventually 500 people actually showed up. So it took only two weeks. For me to get 500 people and again the video this actually went viral uh, I show and explain how I got this many people I explained kind of briefly but eventually I'll release my book it's taking way too long because <laughs> uh, I just keep adding pages and when I do that then you'll see like the full story now the third time I've done a do or die commitment and mind you I've done this many more times but these were like the big ones was uh, when I decided to multiply my income again. And what I did, I rented a uh, extremely expensive villa in the richest neighborhood in Israel with my own private pool, cost me $10,000 a month. And I hired, I went from having one employee, to sometimes two, to having 10 employees and I paid them premium salary. And Again, this was a massive, massive risk I took. Uh, this one didn't pay off, by the way, but you know that's for another video. But the point is very simple. When you take a do or die commitment like that, there's only two ways that, that it can actually work. One way is that you win, is that it, it actually goes well. So this happened to me many times and it actually gave me the confidence because I noticed I can jump and kind of make leaps where you know, you're making X amount, now you're making 5X, then you're making 3X of, of the original 5X. So you constantly multiply everything and reach new peaks. Now I got confident with it, a bit too cocky, thinking that that's the secret formula. Like just risk everything, like just create a situation that's so dangerous that you're not willing to lose at any cost and it's gonna work. And you know, it does, <laughs> It does work. I mean, it does make you do things you never thought you could, but it's not a, a foolproof solution. Just because you do everything you possibly can, doesn't mean you're not, it, it means you're gonna take massive risks. It means you're gonna take massive action. It means you're gonna be creative, but it doesn't mean that you're guaranteed not to make mistakes that might potentially fuck you up. So you're definitely not gonna lose because you didn't do enough, but you might lose because you did something wrong. Too much of something bad <laughs> so when you lose what happens is uh, you're gonna go through suffering and pain 
uh, take the amount of suffering that somebody goes through on 10, in 10 years of their life and condense it into a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And this is how you'll feel, again, from experience. <laughs> but, but what that means is that you're gonna gain about 10 years of experience in just one project, 10 years of wisdom, of experience. And in that sense, you really can't lose <laughs> because you either win and gain success or you win and gain wisdom, which both lead to success. You know, you might gain success right off the bat, you might gain wisdom. Uh, wisdom leads to success, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> which one you end up gaining. So that's why if you hear the calling to, to, to go at it, if you feel like you're not motivated to, to take action, you're something stopping you, you're not living up to your full potential, and some voice inside you is telling you, uh, look man, you have to go all out to make this happen. Don't wait to be safe. Actually, put yourself intentionally in harm's way. Put yourself intentionally at risk. Force yourself to go hard at it. Go for that thing because you're not going to regret it. Again, if you win, you succeed. If you lose, you gain 5, 10, 15 years of wisdom. Both are extremely valuable. Uh, when you win, again, it could lead. Oh, here's an Aston Martin. Nice. Uh, first Aston Martin I've ever seen in Israel. Um, yeah, th that's what happens when you live in uh, the rich uh, business district of Israel. Anyway, you, you really can't lose. And actually me winning so many times and getting success was the exact thing that caused me to lose it because I got cocky and I got entitled and too confident in my abilities. So me losing and then gaining the wisdom, it actually made everything perfect because now I have all my potential abilities still intact. I have many more abilities and I also have the wisdom of how to keep that success, how to maintain it and grow it. I hope this video makes sense. I hope I inspired you to take more action in case you're considering it but you know afraid uh, because for me taking these do or die commitments really just going all out you know uh, risking everything uh, putting myself in situations where I'm forced to take action that has been the single biggest contributor to my success and without it I'd probably be just another guy in self-development who just sits and read books and doesn't really see any change in his life. Uh, you know, as the years go by, maybe he gets 10% better, 15% better, but he doesn't have these leaps, these massive jumps in success and growth. Um, but again, you have to, uh, if you want to win big, you have to risk big. Uh, so, uh, at least at the beginning. So, you know, if you have that calling, hear it and take it trust me you're not gonna regret it and if you have any questions any doubts maybe you think you should but you're not sure I'm the guy for you I'm the man I'm the guy who did it many times sometimes successfully sometimes not I've gained so much success and so much wisdom out of it uh, you know there's no probably no person that I know that you should talk to more if you're considering doing it than me so contact me let me know uh, I want you to take that risk. I want you to actually start risking in life to actually not just see okay How can I grow without risking but actually like really go all out and risk and and put yourself in, in a situation where you're forced to succeed Because again, that's the only reason why I am where I'm today and I owe everything that I have to it So let me know like if you like and subscribe if you haven't